Today I'll show you the easiest way to create a Facebook business page in just 5 minutes. We'll do everything step by step so it's easy to understand. Now, most tutorials won't tell you this, but the first thing you should do before creating your Facebook business page is to make sure that your website is not slow so that when someone clicks on the link to your website, it loads properly for them. Even generally, a slow site makes you lose a lot of conversions. So, Let's use a free plugin to quickly fix this. So, I will go to this website, put my website URL here, click continue. Elif does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score, like caching, image optimization, a good CDN, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just Elif is enough. This is not the end. There are many other cool features as well. And that's why most people get a 90 plus score in the first go. And in the rare occurrence that you don't, you just need to ping the support here and they will take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. To create a business page, I will use my personal account because it's easier to access my page and share posts with my friends. Once you're signed in, click this nine dot menu on the top right. Under the create section, select page. It takes us here to the page builder. Let's say I want to create a business page for my coffee selling website. So I'll add my page name like this. Next, I'll select my page's category as coffee shop from here. Then I'll add a short description for my bio like this. You can also see the preview here on the right. Okay, once you're done, click create page down here. Next, we have to enter the specifics like my site's URL, location. The last section here is for business hours. Since my business is online, I'll select no hours available. Click next. Here, I'll quickly add a profile and cover photo like this. Under that, we have this important add action button option. I'll click it. Now, we need to pick an action for this button. So if you have an app or group, you can use this buy now option to link it with this page. If you want to create your actual shop on Facebook, then you can select view shop. Mine is a coffee selling website, so I'll pick start order and click next. Here, I'll put my site's shop page URL and hit save. Once the pop-up closes, click next. If you use WhatsApp for your business and want to link your number, you can enter it here. I don't have it, so I'll skip it for now. Here is build your audience, where you can invite your friends to like and follow your page. I'll click next and you're done. Your business page is created, but there's a couple of things that we need to take care of. So first I'll clean my dashboard by going here and in the drop down, select manage section and remove all the unwanted sections like this. In this intro section, I'll click edit details. These are basic details and straightforward. So I will quickly fill this up with a transition. Now down here, you can change your hours if you have a real world store. And there's also an option to set what the budget for your store is. I'll select moderate and click save. Next, to feature my best selling items, I'll go here and click add featured. Select my images and name the collection like this. Click save. Now to display your menu on the front page like this, which can be helpful for your visitors to know about the new items that you're selling. To do that, click manage or professional dashboard. In the left sidebar, click menu. You can add your menu photo here and it will make a new section in your about tab like this. Over here, you also have an option for dining, delivery, which can be useful for restaurants and cafe owners. I'll enter some details like this. Once done, click save and it will take us back to the menu tools page. Our menu is up here and we can use this button to generate a QR code to share it on other social media platforms to get more people on your page. Now to see how users are interacting with your page, go here and it gives you an overview of the page like the reach of our posts, engagement and page likes. For a more detailed overview, click your page in the sidebar. Once you have about 100 followers, you'll be able to see more stats under the audience section. Another cool feature you can add is automatic replies for our visitors when they send us a message. To do that, I'll click Meta Business Suite and then select Inbox in the sidebar. 
Now click automations on top here. There are a lot of options here, but we'll click instant reply first. Now we can quickly set our auto reply up like this. Now if anyone messages, they'll know that I'll get back to them in 24 hours. Now that our page is set up, let's customize the URL. So from my FB page, I'll click settings in the left sidebar. Here I can add a username which will automatically change the URL. Once done, hit save. Then if we open the page in the new tab, we can see the new URL. Another important setting is privacy. So I'll click it and it opens up this page. Under your activity, you can change who can view your posts. You can use this option to review any post you're tagged in. And this option will hide the pages or the people we follow. Now, if you have a team and you want to add them to this page, then we need to enable sharing access. To do that, click new pages experience. Here you can click add new to add people from your team and select what permissions they have. You can also add a community manager to moderate comments, chats, etc. like this. We are all done. I'll open the page from a different account quickly to show you how the page looks and make sure the button works. Now, if I click start order, it opens my site's shop page. Perfect. The last thing to do is create a post which you can do directly from your page here, like a regular Facebook account. You can type a message, add a photo or a video, a reel or go live. If you want creative templates for your posts, then go to Canva. And here you will find designs that suit your brand. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.